Happy Father's Day to me. My kids are asleep and I get to work in the workshop. What am I going to work on? A present for my kids and another one for my nieces and nephews. So here's the plan. My goal is to make a few sensory boards or busy boards as they're called. What it is is a piece of wood that you put a bunch of little things that kids love to play with. That way the kid can play with like switches and, and doorknobs and latches, stuff that normally you don't want them opening because they can get something bad. This way they can just open and close it without causing any sort of trouble. Um, I'm going to cheat a bit on this project. Instead of getting a, a, you know, a blank piece of wood and shaping it to look nice, I just went and got three of these uh, edge glued spruce round panels. They're 18 inches across and they just take a few boards, glue them together and round them off. So they already have no sharp corners. They're pretty smooth as it is. All I have to do is sand them a bit and they'll be ready for working on. And then after that, I'm gonna finish them and then I'm gonna put all the hardware on. But before we go any further than that, I have to prepare for one of the things I'm gonna add because I know kids tend to like light switches. My kids kind of obsess over them, but I don't want them to mess with the light bulbs. So I'm gonna put some switches on these. They're not gonna be hooked up to anything. But all I'm gonna do is drill a space for these to fit into like that and then put a cover over them. That way they can flip them to their heart's content. All right, to start out with, we gotta figure out which side is the ugly side and which side is the pretty side on this piece of wood. See that right there? Some flaws, some minor things, which as long as it's on the bottom, don't matter because this, this is the pretty side. So we've got our worktop ready to go. Because we're not gonna be wiring these anything, you don't need this or this or this so you can just tighten those all the way up or remove them completely so you don't have to cut out a big as a hole or mortise for this and then we're going to be using wood screws to fasten this to the board so you can get rid of these things right here okay we're not going to be wiring this up whatsoever so don't worry this isn't a violation of electrical code because there won't be any power going through it at all so you want to get it towards like this with these screwed in tight and these wide open and then you come down here and you find out where on this board you want to put your uh, little out your little switch so you want to turn it up on its side and look how it's put together see how we have all these boards glued together you want to avoid drilling into one of these seams because you could split the whole thing apart so we're going to come over to the edge and i like this board right here so we're going to aim to put our switch right here. All right, see how that works just fine right there. So we're gonna take our switch, find the right seam to go by, and that would be right here. All right, oh, get it nice and straight. Then we take a pencil and we mark out the area that we need to remove. Right there. Now there are several ways we can go about removing that material, making this mortise. There's, you can use a drill press, you can use a router, you can use hammer and chisel, you can use just a, a drill in your hand and a drill bit. I'm gonna use a drill press. All right, here's my drill press. I've got a Forstner bit right here. That'll give me a nice flat bottom hole. Um, when I turn it on, I just use this to raise and lower the bit. And then I can go through and just dig out all the area I wanna remove material on. Uh, I have a gauge here that tells me how deep I am and I know from doing it before that I want to take it to where it's about right there on the gauge so I have a nice deep hole for the switch to fit into. Here it goes. Alright, we've got the hardcore cutting out of the way. Uh, next comes sanding. These tabletops are sanded at the factory, but only a bit. Um, so I'm gonna take my 220 disc on my orbital sander, hooked up to this extraction, and do both sides of each of these. And then I'm gonna take the edges, I'm gonna start out with 
220 grit and then 400 grit for the end grain. And we'll see how that turns out. I've got my hearing protection, I've got my respirator. It's gonna get loud, so I'm just gonna do this on a time lapse. step we've got our hardware we're not going to actually install it yet what we're going to do is map out on here where we want the pieces to go and we're going to mark the screw holes with these pieces so we know where to drill we want to drill pilot holes for each of these pieces of hardware so that we don't get splitting wood when we install them all right and also we want to do this pilot holes before we put the finish on that way we don't have like any um, unfinished spots they get turned up by the drill bits. finish is dry. Now it's just a matter of installing all that hardware.
as you can see, I've laid it out to where there's different little bits to play with all over the board. The idea here is these are all things that, that babies will see in the grown-up world that they can't touch, either because they're up too high or because something might get them in trouble. But their curiosity is something that we should try to nurture. So these are safe versions of all these things that they can reach and play with and discover how that works. And that helps them develop motor skills. Like this one, you know, they have to learn to reach under and lift that up or to grab this and open up that or play with this or just do this or put that switch over and over and over again because they see mommy and daddy doing it all the time.